Okay, so the focus of this discussion is the law of acceleration. But before we proceed to the solving, we should first know the basic concepts of law of acceleration. Basically, law of acceleration is one of the three laws by Isaac Newton. And these laws are related to motion. The law of acceleration is also known as the second law of motion. Okay. And since it's the second law of motion and it's called the law of acceleration, it has something to do with acceleration. So you have to know that law of acceleration focuses on three different variables and these quantities are very important. So we have first force which is represented by capital letter F and then second mass which is represented by small letter M and of course the acceleration which is represented by small letter A. So these three quantities can lead you to different simple formulas under this law. So you can derive them using the simple method of triangle. So let's go first with the first triangle. So this triangle, as you can see, inside the triangle we have two lines. We have the horizontal line, so this line, horizontal line, and the vertical line. The horizontal line represents division and the vertical line represents multiplication so how to know the different formulas under the law of acceleration so let's let's say for example you are looking for the formula of force so what you have to do is to erase force here erase it from the triangle and then the triangle will give you mass times acceleration therefore the formula for force is mass times acceleration so that's your first formula and well this one is the basic formula for the law of acceleration now let's move on to the next triangle so this is our second triangle and our goal is to look for the formula of m which is mass so what you have to do again is to erase m from the triangle and the triangle will give you force divided by acceleration so force divided by acceleration so you have now the formula for mass and the next let's go to the next formula which is the formula for acceleration so we're looking for the formula of acceleration and let's use this triangle so for, for this triangle you can erase a from it so if you erase a from it it will give you force over mass so you have now the formula for acceleration so therefore these are the three basic formulas under law of acceleration okay so now we can apply the formulas that we have derived from the different quantities under the law of acceleration we have a problem here and it says how much force is applied by a boy if he is pushing a 5 kilogram box with an acceleration of 0.5 meters per second per second so the first thing that we have to do for this problem is to analyze it by simply finding the given values because if we know the given values we can simply know the um, quantity that we should look for so first let us look for the given values so you write here 
given and then enumerate the given values so the first one is we can um, find here this five kilogram box okay so five kilograms so we can say five kilograms aside from the five uh, aside from that five kilograms we can also find 0 0.5 meters per second per second okay so that's 0 0.5 meters per second per second so we can write here 0 0.5 meter per second per second so you can now analyze these given values okay so these given values let's start with five kilogram five kilogram if you are going to recall the definition of these quantities so you can base that from this unit kilogram and kilogram is the unit for mass right so you can say five kilogram is the mass and then we have 0 0.5 meters per second per second and meters per second per second or meter per second square is the unit for acceleration so now the question is what are we looking for so go back to the problem and let's read it again how much force is applied so basically it is looking for force it's asking for force therefore we are looking for force so how to solve for force if we are going back to our derivation as you can remember force has this formula mass times acceleration so basically you just have to simply substitute the given so your mass is 5 kilogram and your acceleration is 0 0.5 meters per second per second so that is 5 times 0 0.5 will be 2.5 then what will be the unit for this you just copy the two units so it will be 2.5 kilogram dot meter per second per second but this one can also be 2.5 newton one newton is equal to one kilogram that meter per second per second and newton is the official or the um si unit So Newton is the SI unit for force. Okay, so that's the answer for that. Okay, so next we have another example here. And it says here, solve for the acceleration of a 5 kilogram box being pushed by a boy with 20 Newton. So again, the first thing that we have to do is to identify the given values. So let us look for the given values. So we can see here 5 kilograms again, 5 kilograms, and then 20 newton. Okay. And then let us identify the quantities that are given so first we have five kilograms so like what we have said before kilogram is the unit for mass therefore five kilograms is an example of mass and then we have 20 newton so as you can remember in our problem number one we were able to solve for the force whose unit was newton therefore 20 newton is also a force and it says here solve for the acceleration so we're looking for acceleration if we are going back to our derivation the formula for acceleration is acceleration is equal to force over mass 
So we can just directly substitute our given values. Our force is 20 newton and our mass is 5 kilograms. So 20 divided by 5, you will have 4. And the unit for that will be meters per second per second. Okay. So how do we get the meters per second per second? So if you're going to expand the 20 newton, that will be 20 kilogram dot meters per second per second over 5 kilograms. So 20 divided by 5 is 4 and you can now cancel kilogram. So you only have meters per second per second or meters per second square and let's take it for our answer okay so we are now down to our number three example so our problem here is how heavy is a box if it has an acceleration of 2 meters per second per second and being pushed by a 20 newton force? So again, like what we did earlier, we have to look for the given values. So given, first we can see 2 meters per second per second. So 2 meters per second per second. And we have 20 Newton. 20 Newton. Or it can also be, if you expand 20 Newton, that will be 20 kilogram dot meter per second per second. So if you're going to identify these quantities, meter per second per second is the unit for acceleration. Therefore, this one is an acceleration. And we also have here 20 newton or kilogram that meter per second per second. This one is a force. And we are looking for what are we looking for? So it's asking how heavy. Basically, we're looking for the mass. Okay, so we're looking for mass. Now, if you're going to recall our derivation mass is equal to force over acceleration so you can just say your force here is 20 kilogram dot meter per second per second or newton over 2 meters per second per second 20 divided by 2 is 10 and you can now cancel meter per second per second and this meter per second per second so you all you only have now the kilograms okay therefore the mass of the object being pushed by the boy is 10 kilograms okay so we are now down to our last example for the law of acceleration so we have here a problem which is more complex than our previous examples. So it says here, a 3 kilogram cart being pushed by a man speeds up from 2 meters per second to 4 meters per second within 5 seconds. How much force is exerted by the man if the cart has a 5 kilogram box? So as what we have done before, Let's first analyze our problem by simply looking for the given values. So we have here given 5 kilograms box. So therefore, you have here 5 kilograms. Aside from that, we also have this one 5 seconds. And then this one, 4 meters per second, and another one, 2 meters per second. 
if you're going to analyze our problem, it says here that the man is pushing this cart. And this cart is 3 kilograms in mass. And on that cart, a box is placed on top of it. So basically, if the man pushes the cart, he also pushes the box. So you can actually add the 3 kilograms here to the 5 kilograms here. So that will be 5 kilograms plus 3 kilograms and that will give you 8 kilograms. So these are our given values. Now let's identify these quantities. 8 kilograms is an example of a mass. 5 seconds is an example of time and 4 meters per second and 2 meters per second are examples of velocities okay so you should know that since we have here two examples of velocities one of them is the initial velocity while the other one is the final velocity so it says here from 2 meters per second from 2 meters per second so it means it's basically the initial velocity initial velocity and the other one is to 4 meters per second to it indicates the final velocity okay so we are here now looking for the force we're looking for the force Okay, we're looking for the force. If you are going to recall our formula for force, that is force is equal to mass times acceleration. So if you are going to substitute our given, you cannot actually substitute them directly. You have your mass. Yes, you have your mass. How about your acceleration? So as you can see in our given, we don't have any acceleration there. Therefore, before solving for force, we have to solve for acceleration first, okay? Solve for acceleration first, and the formula for acceleration is A is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over time, okay? So, using the given values, we can now solve for the acceleration. Acceleration is equal to final velocity, which is 4 meters per second minus the initial velocity which is 2 meters per second over the time which is 5 seconds okay so your acceleration will be 4 minus 2 that would be 2 meters per second over 5 seconds and the answer for that will be 0 0.40 meters per second square so you have now your acceleration so we can now solve for the force so let's go back here force force is equal to mass times acceleration so your mass will be this one that will be 8 kilograms times your acceleration which is this one and that is 0. 40 meters per second square and 8 times 0 0.40 will be 3.20 kilogram dot meter per second square or 3.20 newton